So many people ask me how I predict and plan for the future. And one of the big things that we do in our business is actually do a real business plan. If you ask any business owner out there that has a really strong business, they're probably doing a business plan. And you wanna make this a living document, not just do the plan at the end of the year and then put it away. You actually need to refer to it, check, it, check on it probably monthly, quarterly with your team and make sure that you're following the business plan number one and making adjustments as needed as you're growing. Because you can predict and plan for the future, but things are always changing. And that's one of the key things that we like to do in our business is make sure when business plan that we keep it living, number one, and that we actually know what we're gonna be doing for the whole next year, believe it or not. So our business planning starts in October, September, October, and we try to have it finalized by you know December, the beginning of December, really, because the new year is already here, right? And so we wanna make sure that we start the new year off right, and we're really excited for January 2022, and then for all the great things coming for Alicia and company in the business. However, for you, if you're growing your business and you're new in the business, make sure you're looking at your actionable items of what you want to have done in the next year. Do you know what you're trying to build? That's the number one question. Do you have a clear vision of what you want to do in your business and how you want to grow? Because you have to have the end in mind before you can plan for it. So those are the, some of the big key things that we talk about. Um, one of the things that I'm coached and I've been coached to and I coach others is coming up with not just your to-do list, but also planning out for the whole year, month to month, quarter to quarter. What are you going to do for your clients? What are you going to do for your marketing? Understanding your budget and your financials, what's coming in and what's going out. All of those pieces make a business plan and it's so important to make sure you have all those plotted out as you're running your business. Because you wanna run a business, it's not a hobby, it's a business, right? And you wanna be the CEO of your business. So those are some key items that I always look at. And also, you know, people talk about your why. It's kind of like this like thing that's out there and it's something that everyone runs around wondering what their why is. And if you don't know what your why is, meaning why are you growing your business? Why are you doing your business? Why are you doing the things that you're doing? it's really hard to have the end in mind. So that kind of goes hand in hand with what you're trying to build. So sit down and have some quiet time alone to figure out what your why is, what you wanna build and where you're trying to go to before you can make steps on what marketing things you wanna do, what your spend's going to be for the next year. This is what we've been doing actually in our team. We have meetings weekly about it. I have been spending a lot of time on the business plan and, and tweaking it and fine tuning it. And then we are actually going to have a business planning retreat um, to review our items in February, just to kind of go through the whole year and make sure that everything is in place. So I'm excited to take you guys on the journey. Always as I'm here as a resource. If you've got questions on business plan, I'd love to talk with you about it. I love business and I love talking about business and I'm definitely here as a resource.